Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're doing Stormwatch for today's fourth and final video. So it looks like we could be in for some thunderstorms on Sunday and into Monday. We're going to bring you up to date with all of the latest developments with Stormwatch. And uh, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first of your day was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released Jerry Friday and 10 to 14 there too. Please check out all of today's content. Thank you so much everybody um, for doing that. Thank you so much Richard for the Stormwatch gift. I love it. I love it Rich. Thank you so much my friend for our uh, lovely lovely Stormwatch gift. Amazing. Okay, let's start off. We're going to begin with rain pitch because we have actually got some thunderstorms right now. We've got showery rain uh, running up west. So I don't think that's giving too much in the way of thunder. But we have got these thunderstorms here across the southwestern parts of Scotland. If we add in a lightning detector, we can see that cluster of thunderstorms just there currently. Uh, particularly around the Glasgow uh, re uh, region, so uh, particularly wet there, um, and going a little bit further northwards as well. Otherwise, not much in the way of thunder currently. As I say, most of this running up the Irish Sea is rain, but some of this could turn uh, thundery overnight. So there are some very bright echoes there, there are some very bright colours indicating some torrential rain running up the Irish Sea, so some of this might turn thundery. Night. We have actually got a yellow weather warning from the UK Met Office for those thunderstorms in southwestern parts of Scotland. Um, this was issued at 5.43 this evening, quite late for them to issue uh, this. I think it uh, runs out, it expires at 9pm. A small area of thunderstorms may bring some disruption over parts of southwestern Scotland. You can see particularly like in the Glasgow region and uh, going northwards towards the A82 and A83. We've got a much more widespread uh, warning for thunderstorms for England and Wales on Sunday. So if we click on that, it's this is valid from midnight Sunday until 11.59 p.m. on Sunday evening. Heavy rain and thunderstorms on Sunday will bring a chance of disruption in parts of England and Wales. And you see this is a widespread warning stretching all the way from like Cornwall to Newcastle. Um, they will probably refine that a little bit over the next uh, day or so. But uh, at the moment, like a widespread uh, warning covering most of England and Wales. Let's see what's going on. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the fact charts from the, <laughs> I'm so sorry, from the UK uh, Met Office. Um, so this is a human interpretation of the models by the forecasters at the UK Met. This fact chart for midday tomorrow. So you can see the high pressure has been dominating for so very long over the day. It's still there. It's retreating a little bit. As this area of low pressure in the Atlantic starts advancing towards us and brings these weather fronts in to the west. So tomorrow, most of the wet weather will again be on the western side of the country near that occluded front. That's midnight Saturday to Sunday. So then we've got little troughs and convergence lines just beginning to appear, telling us that the atmosphere starting uh, to uh, wobble them. And that's the fact chart for midday on Sunday. And again, you see we've got these little features, little weather fronts, little convergence lines, where we will have enhanced areas of showers and thunderstorms. These are our triggers, if you like, to potentially bring some uh, very uh, unsettled and, uh, you know, quite stormy weather, depending on the cap. So let's see what the cape is going to be doing. Let's just quick go through to Monday's fact chart. So that's Sunday night again with those little features associated with this thundery area of low pressure. As far as we'll go to, it's to midday on Monday, where then we begin to push the um, main occluded front through the country. Still a little convergence lines, though. I started to bring the air in, probably from a slightly fresher sort of Atlantic source. Now, we don't got a trigger there. Let's see what the Cape and Lifted is doing. So we'll go to the GFS and we'll have a look at 72 hours. So that is the chart. So look for 48 hours. That's the chart for uh, Sunday. So uh, you can see again, we've got um, the area of low pressure there to the southwest of Ireland. Again, we've got these kinks in the ice bars. That's where the features, little converge lines and whatnot. Our upper air temperature is still looking very warm, so it's going to be a very humid uh, feel with that uh, with that low pressure coming in 
off the Atlantic, but the all-important chart is Cape and Lifted, and there is our Cape for um, Sunday, the 18th of June. You see there is pretty decent Cape across most parts of England and Wales, so uh, we've got plenty of Cape and Lifted there. It's not over top, like, but sometimes if the Cape and Lifted goes into the brightest colours, like the red, the outer actually gets capped off and you don't get the storm. So that looks just about perfect, really, uh, for Cape and Lifted to combine with the trigger and produce thunderstorms. So it looks like we've got perfect conditions there from a uh, pattern point of view, from a trigger point of view. Got the convergence lines and a little web fronts. We've got the main occlude front as well. And we've got Cape and Lifted. It looks like it's all quite prime for things to go properly bang on Sunday. So let's have a look shall we at the uh, precipitation uh, forecast we're going to start off with the generic gfs um so again it's current scenario there's a storm dying out across that southwest scotland otherwise we've got this wet weather running up the irish sea overnight that rain turns very heavy for ireland there might be thunderstorms mixed in with that some very intense vibrant colors for um for ireland uh, that runs up into northern ireland as well later on in the night and through to tomorrow morning otherwise most of uh, britain is mostly dry but we do start generating a few showers as we go into Saturday evening across more central regions. Again, they might be a little bit funny, but I don't think they'll be too over time. I think it's really through Sunday afternoon where we see this big ballooning of uh, precipitation appearing, uh, particularly um, the GFS focus on Wales, now western and northwest England. But we have got some uh, wet weather further eastwards through East Anglia and the Midlands as well. Look how vibrant the colours get there. For Wales into the Midlands through the course of Sunday afternoon. Some very intense downpours and thunderstorms look possible there. Could be merging into longer spells of rain as well. So, uh, you know, this could be a really intense rainfall that we've got here on Sunday. Very bright colours there over northern eastern England uh, overnight Sunday into Monday as the whole area of wet weather trundles its way northwards. And then we're into Monday where we're into much more of a sunshine and shower type scenario, I think, as opposed to like um thunderstorms there might be some thundery activity mixed into those shadows, but you notice wind is much more from off the atlantic so it should be quite a, a fresher feel i think by the time we get through to uh monday but still quite warm this is a high resolution up model again this shows that uh we've got situation running up the iris sea through saturday afternoon and into saturday evening otherwise not much going on uh, on uh, Saturday night. You know the GFS was showing showers through Wales and Midlands on Saturday evening, Saturday night. Our pair is not interested in much at all. But the main event starts on uh, Sunday. So you see these heavy showers and possibly thunderstorms coming up from France there uh, on Sunday morning. May carry on moving northwards into the Midlands in particular during the course of Sunday afternoon um not going over top with the intensity with the colors as like the gfs does but again our pairs can you know be a little bit toned down compared to some others. but you see clearly quite a lot of precipitation pushing northwards some of that might be spells of rain some of it we've got the, the brightest of the colors the most intense rain being predicted could be thunderstorms it all heads northwards overnight uh, sunny night into the northern part of the country. So Monday start delivering just sunshine and uh, showers of over. Is a hint of more heavy downpours maybe coming up from France there on uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Uh, another high resolution one. All these are from the Weather Outlook, uh, by the way. Thank you so much to uh, our good friends at Weather Outlook. To Brian. Hello to Brian and everyone at two. Um, oh, check out Weather Outlook if you'd like to uh, see the charts for yourself. This is how DWD Icon is looking. Another high-res model. Again, we've got the wet weather initially up the Irish Sea and in the west through the course of tonight and tomorrow morning. Otherwise, not a lot happening further eastwards tomorrow will be a very humid day i think probably more cloud than today but still some sunny spells central eastern regions and i would imagine uh, quite high humidity so quite an uncomfortable feel um now the storm coming up from the south or precipitation coming up from the south with uh icon actually is a little bit further eastwards compared to the other models so the, the most intense rain here is like through the midlands and east England. so there's a bit of uncertainty about that the gfs wants it to be wales and midlands northern england are paired directly through central 
opening, the Midlands at Northern England, and uh, Icon has it like the Midlands, or the heaviest of it anyway, like the Midlands through to East Anglia and uh, Lincolnshire as well. So a little bit of uncertainty about that. Um, but it's just a uh, general um, variation of the theme. And the UK Met will refine, you know, where the worst of the storms will be as we get closer to uh, Sunday. They have all the downpours pushing northwards through the course of uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. It heads up into Scotland by Monday morning, very into sunshine and showers. That's Monday night, Tuesday morning. Again, there's further downpours possible, especially in all parts of England. This is the high resolution DORF model. So, uh, again, we'll, uh, this is from Metro Seal, by the way, different website for this one. Uh, so, again, um, overnight, we're going to have wet weather up the west side of the country. Otherwise, not that much happening tomorrow. Uh, most of the showers are in the west. But by tomorrow evening, some showers and storms possible there through parts of the southwest Midlands, in particular around the Bristol area, uh, Gloucester, Herefordshire, that sort of area, pushing northwards into other parts of the Midlands, but fizzing out. As it does so. I mean, of course, the main event that we're focusing on is Sunday. So here we go. This is how things blow up through the course of Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Some very, very bright, vibrant colours there, particularly light through uh, Wales and into the Midlands, central southern England included, included in that as well. Um, uh, we could be looking at like a couple of inches of rain falling with some of these storms, I think, within quite a short space of time. So there will be a risk of some localised flooding as well. All of that heavy rain and thunder pushing northwards as we go from um, Sunday into Monday. So by Monday morning, the focus, probably for more general rain rather than thunderstorms at this point, I would imagine, but very heavy rain and persistent torrential rain focus on Scotland on uh, Monday morning. That could cause problems in itself. And then more showers breaking out into Monday afternoon, but they look far less intense uh, by then. And then the last model, of course, is UKV. So back to the weather outlook. This is UK Met product. Um, high res model once more. If you enjoyed this so much, please can you like, share and subscribe. It certainly looks like we're in for a very interesting day on, uh, on Sunday. Let's see what UKV is showing as the climax to our storm watch. Well, well, well. Um, <laughs> so you've got the heavy showers and storms, potentially storms anyway, in the west tonight, focusing on Northern Ireland uh, and possibly southwestern parts of Scotland as well. Tomorrow, a few showers and storms possible through Wales, the Midlands, uh, northwestern and southwest Scotland. They probably won't amount to too much. Areas further east, mostly dry, humid, and whatnot. A few showers and storms rumbling around as well on. Um, Saturday night into Sunday morning. They're not quite well scattered, but there will be uh, some downpours rumbling around. And then we go into Sunday morning, and this is when it all starts kicking off. So let's see what UKV is doing here. So by midday on Sunday, we've got some wet weather across eastern parts of the country. And then into the afternoon, we see these big showers and thunderstorms really ballooning up across Wales, the Midlands, and parts of eastern England as well. Some very intense Rainfall being forecast there, uh, pushing from Wales and Midlands into northern England through the course of Sunday evening, and then on into Scotland as probably more persistent torrential rain overnight Sunday and on into Monday. Then Monday has scattered thunderstorms and thunder showers across the country. Um, and it's just more quite heavy showers and potentially some thunderstorms into the south on Tuesday, but we sh shan't go any further than that. So it all looks very interesting, doesn't it? A lot of the times I'm hanging out doing storm watches and I'm sort of toning it down and saying, you know, going to be quite hit and miss. I mean, an hour in. This does look really quite significant, I have to say. This looks like, like um, there could be some really big storms around on Sunday. And I think... Taking all of those ones together, yeah, I think we're particularly focusing on uh, Sunday morning for more southern regions, uh, and then in the afternoon into the evening through Wales and Midlands, possibly East Anglia, and then the whole lot trundling north was into northern England overnight Sunday into uh, Monday, before, by the time you get through the Monday morning, all of that wet weather should be up across Scotland, probably losing a thunder and lightning uh, as it gets to Scotland, but with just very heavy torrential thundery rain. Uh, on 
Monday morning up across Scotland. That could well cause some disruption because it does look quite long lasting that wet weather when it gets to Scotland. Following on from that, further heavy showers and thunderstorm, not as widespread or intense for Monday afternoon as they will be on Sunday, but nevertheless, further downpours possible on both Monday and Tuesday, especially so in areas further south. Right, that's it for storm watching. Quite exciting. Um, I will see how it all pans out. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoy photo storms, you know, then, then and you get one, then enjoy it. Um, stay safe. Remember, lightning can be a very, very dangerous phenomenon. So um, if you want to take pictures of that, then, then keep yourself safe and uh, enjoy those photo storms if you get them. For uh, Stormwatch for tonight, that's all now. And thanks for watching.